You will never get away with it. You cannot just walk into an American naval base and then steal a boatload of supplies. Pepe, you have no confidence. Uh, it worked in Hollandia and Melne Bay. Just let me do the talking and it will work here. Paul, who goes there? I'm Ensign Parker, officer of the day. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be easier than I thought. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, oh, please, monsieur, you have nothing to fear from us. We are merely humble fishermen in distress. Huh? Oh, well, then, wait a minute. Hey, you're a big Frenchy. Last time we saw you was in New Caledonia and stole our PT boat. Oh, it's in Parker. How nice you remember wait. me. Well, put me down. No huggy gone duty. I'm so <laughs> you guys are under arrest. Oh, but please, monsieur, you have nothing to fear from big Frenchy. I have, as you Americans say, turned over a new leaf, huh? Read that from the chief of police of New Caledonia, congratulating Big Frenchy for the wonderful work he has done with the Boy Scouts and the PTA. You see there? Says Grenet, hey, we are proud of you. You have become a model citizen. How about that? Huh? Huh? Oh, boy, the PTA. Wow. Hey, I have that letter. I'd like to show the gang. Oh, no. I am sorry. It might get lost. I want to send it to my mother. You got a mother, too? Boy, wait till they... Oh. Of course you'd have a mother. <laughs> now, if you will tell me where is the office of your captain, I have a little business to transact there. Uh, well, it's right over there in that big Quonset hut. Hey, I'd be proud to take you over there. So you are the OD. You must guard the island, huh? Got that. Oh. Right. Yeah, well, uh, I'll see you around. Uh, Roger, over and out. Oh. Gee, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> Underground. My identification, sir. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> General René Jacques-Henri Boucher, at your service, mon capitaine. Oh, how do I know you, General Ole, Ole, whatever that is you're saying? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I admire you, are. you for your caution, sir. It is no wonder they call you the jungle fox, sir. I don't care what... The... <laughs> They call me the Jungle Fox? Oh, do not be modest. Everyone has heard of the famous Captain Binghamton, huh? Eh? Oh, oh, yes, you're right. You see, sir, I keep telling you, you've become a legend in your own time. Perhaps this will convince you, sir. My orders, direct from General de Gaulle. Oh, de Gaulle, what do you know about that? To our American allies, this is to introduce the courageous leader of the underground movement, the bearer of these secret orders. General René Jacques Henri Bouton. Thank you, oh. Carpenter. Now, why don't you come around Sunday afternoons and read me the funny? I'm perfectly capable of reading this thing myself. Well, sure. I do. Oh, sure. Get out of here. Come on fire. What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you know we in the underground are trained to burn our secret orders so they do not fall into the hands of the enemy. Well, I didn't even get to the part where I'm trying to... I also have here microfilm of documents signed by your own Eisenhower.